Good morning guys, it's Johnny Pash here. I'm here at the Zimmerman Auto Museum and it's all about cars. But not just any cars, it's all about Shelby's. And we're here for the Shelby's Technology Tribute Car Show here in LA. And we're doing it the easy way, on the Easy Way Broadcasting Network. Johnny Pash interviews Automobile Witness At the Shelby's Technology Tribute Car Show Presenting cars like no other Interviewing experts Witnessing greatness Celebrating 60 years of Shelby and doing it the easy way. This is a 57 Lincoln convertible, absolutely stunning. And Shelby is supportive of the Global Diversity Transportation Network, bringing awareness to our youth in the field of technology and discovering those hidden pioneers. I'm Adam Ferrara and I have a message for all the hidden pioneers. You see this? 67 Cobra Recreation. This is one of the coolest cars from the past, and it's got a piece of the future in it because it's electric. Huh? That's the future, and so are you. Cars are cool. Now get to work, because I want you to have fun, and I need you to take care of me when I get old. Clock's running. Okay, Johnny Pash here. I've caught up with my man, Gary Patterson. How you doing, buddy? Super, super. How you doing, Johnny? I'm great. This is amazing. Some of the cars out there are just incredible. A lot of the movie cars, which I get a real buzz on. Sure, absolutely. And there's, there's all kinds of stuff. Of course, when you get to L.A., there's always, you never know what's going to show up. Yeah, yeah. No, you know, it's not just the cars, it's the people, too. So that's neat. Everybody's great here. You got Mad Mike from Pimp My Ride. Yeah. Oh yeah. You got all kinds of people. So there's all kinds of personalities and, and things like that. So it makes it fun. Look, you're no stranger to cars. I mean, obviously the viewers want to know about yourself. Okay. Tell us about yourself and why you're here at the Shelby's event today. Well, I guess part of it is I am president of Shelby American. As you do. <laughs> so, so that is exactly what I do. So I'll be up there on the panel and stuff like that. But. Really, it's, it's all about the people. When you look at what keeps the Shelby legacy alive, it is not just the cars, which is awesome, but it's also the people. And whether you're sitting by a, a 65 Shelby GT350 or you know the brand new Mach-E, we'll be playing with one of those down the road. We saw one of those at SEMA. Uh, there's also just a whole bunch. So it's really the best of times. We got the old stuff out there. We got the new stuff out there. We're looking way into the future. So. It, it's a great time to be a part of the auto. Technology will continue to evolve, and when it does, you can bet Shelby will be there. Oh, that's amazing. And I'm absolutely loving the event, the Shelby Technology Tribute Car event. What, what is it? There's, there's a real community feel here. What is it about the event that's so special today? Well, like I said earlier, you know, it's guys like, well, right there, we've got a car coming in. Yeah, you can hear the noise. <laughs> it's Hank Williams, okay? But I'm gonna say hi to Hank real quick. Hold on. He's gonna say hi to Hank. So Hank is the original owner of this car. He bought this Cobra brand new in the 60s from Carroll Shelby himself. Wow. And I love the, I love the plate, no kit. <laughs> so <laughs> it's cool. But you know, we like the kit car stuff too, but it, at the same time, 
Wow, how cool is this? We've got the old school stuff where it started almost 60 years ago with Carroll Shelby, and you got the brand new stuff with the, you know, the Mach E GT. You got a 65 GT350, we got 68. We got a Shelby Series 1 out there, all carbon fiber body, honeycomb aluminum chassis. You know, the guy drove it here. Sandy's a great guy. Um, you know, I've got one of those cars too. So it was the only ground up Shelby we ever did. So this is kind of the best of the best, the cool stuff. I see Shelby GTs out here. You know, there's old Thunderbirds. It's everything that's kind of in the museum is actually out on the street. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, did you notice that, Johnny? I mean, is this cool or what? It's so cool. We're in the heart of LA. This is where the magic is happening for any car enthusiasts. Oh, Gary, something just popped in my brain like that. Isn't it your 60th year anniversary? Gosh, I, I, I didn't realize it. Oh, I, maybe I did. Whoa. How about that? Yeah. How does that 60, feel? 60 years of Shelby. Who'd have thought? You got to remember when Carroll started the company two years before that, when he had to quit racing, they told him he might have five years to live. He lived 52 more years, wore hard on the gas, and then maybe some uh, shocking new stuff. How about that? I love Take it. Take care. 60 Cheers, years, dude. <laughs> 60 <All> years. <laughs>Okay guys, I'm here with the man, Jim Marietta. Boom. How are you, buddy? I'm doing great. Great, very well. It's, uh, it's great to see you here. Now, firstly, tell us, what does this event mean to you? This is absolutely brilliant. Well, this is a great event to get younger people involved in uh, cars and mechanics and, and have them uh, understand how to, use their, how to use their hands as well as their brains. So today, you can't just be one. You have to, you have to use your brains as well as your hands. To, uh, to work on the cars, and especially with the new cars that have so many electronic components. Um, you have to be up on all these things. So, you know, uh, this event will help people get involved in it. And uh, not everybody, you know, can, can just work on uh, computers and, uh, and be in a dot-com deal, right? There are people that have to keep things running. Yeah. And, and these, these guys, as they grow up, will keep the world running, really. Yeah. Yeah, no, for sure. You're, you're an incredible entrepreneurial figure yourself. It all started, I believe, from the age of 17, and you were creating cars like this behind us. What is this beautiful piece? This, the car behind us is, uh, is the original Venice Crew um, GT350 Mustang. It's a Shelby continuation model. And so it's a competition model, which means that it's the one that won the it's a continuation of the one that won the championship. In 1965, we, we tested the car uh, for days and weeks uh, at Willow Springs with Ken Miles, who is, of course, one of the stars of the movie. And also, he um, raced the, uh, the original car, which, is, which everybody knows is 002, um, in uh, Green Valley, Texas, and it became the Flying Mustang. I don't know if you knew about that, but as they go down the front straight, there was a little bump. And Ken was such a great driver, all four wheels would come off the ground. And he would do that lap after, after lap, and there's some great pictures of that, whereby he was actually passing a car with all four wheels off the ground. And that, that's, that's the car that I helped build some 55 years ago. I'm just chilling with my boy, D.A. Ballinger. This is one of our cars, D.A. 1940 Packard Darren Victoria Convertible. It's absolutely incredible. It is. Wow. Thank you for uh, having me back. That's right. You're a massive car fan. Oh, yes. Definitely. Definitely. This is overwhelming. Have you been to this museum before? No, no. But I have been to the Patterson, downtown of Wilshire. I've got beautiful million-dollar cars just like this down there. And uh, look, I mean, you're a massive car fan. You're also a very influential guy. He was blowing my mind a minute ago in regards to he's creating a metaverse. <laughs> I mean, I mean, wow. And you're going to do it in cars. Well, let's just say this. I've taken quite a few pictures here and I'm going to approach the people who own these cars and I'm going to see if I can make them a metaverse because that's where everything is going. You want to sell something, you want to promote something, create your own metaverse and if you guys want one let me know i'll definitely uh, help you uh, to one for you
Johnny Patch, the easy way. And look, you, you recognize this guy. Hey. You know, that kind of cutie face going on. Well, this is Mad Mike. Hey, what's up, my brother? All good. Not too much difference there, Mike. No, that was about pretty good. That was about 10 years ago. No way. Yeah, but see, now I'm doing it the easy way. Yeah. Just working. He knows it. <laughs> the easy way. Okay, so look, tell us, you're here at the Shelby event. Yeah. Amazing, what a day. This is an incredible day. You know, we're out here at the Automotive uh, Driving Museum, and uh, they have a Shelby event. And also we have our Diversity Summit. This exactly. is our second year. And we're out here to try to inspire the youth to get into our field and get into transportation technology. It's incredible. Tell us about the whole setup here. You're at the Shelby event. Um, what's going on? Well, at the Shelby event, we're here. We're doing a Diversity Summit. And uh, we're here to talk to people and try to get sponsors to get the, you know, the kids back interested in uh, automotive technology. Um, and then teach kids about customization. You know, all these cool cars that are out here, they all got built somehow. And these cars aren't brand new. They're like 60s and 50s, and they have all been modified and customized. And that's what we want our youth to do, to continue what we've been doing all these years and keep on going and keep on doing the same thing. Hi, I'm Gary Patterson, president of Shelby American. I'm doing it the easy way. My name is uh, Jim Marietta, and I'm doing it the easy way. This is D.A. Ballinger reporting, using my broadcast voice. Hey, I'm down here at the museum car show, and I am doing it the easy way. Yo, this is Matt Mike. I'm doing the Easy Way magazine live for you. 